for May 2024. So on May 25th, we have a major energy shift taking place, and this is involving Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings. It's the wisdom that we've learned, that we've accumulated through the tough love life lessons that, of course, we've already gone through. Jupiter is moving out of the Taurus energy that he's been in since May of 2023. Now he's moving into Gemini energy, which is going to be a totally different vibe. First of all, Jupiter is not at his strongest point here in Gemini energy. He's not very comfortable. He's not very powerful, but he's going to do what he needs to do. So let me backtrack and take you back about two years ago. Jupiter entered into Aries energy. That's a brand new 12 year cycle for him. There was a brand new spark, new fire, new flame that was instilled in all of us where it is that we were growing in our identity, growing in our passion, growing in our desires and growing this little bit of a seed, if you will, that just kind of got planted, semi-revealed through Jupiter moving through the Taurus energy that kind of gave us the lay of the land. It stabilized us being in a fixed earth sign to kind of get a grip on what needs to grow, what we have to build, what we have to create out of that little fiery seed that got planted in that Aries energy. So as we move throughout the zodiac wheel, once we move into Gemini energy, we're looking to expand upon our perspective, our thoughts, our ideas. We're pushing the boundaries of the initial seed, of the initial plan, and we're really seeing where new options and opportunities are being offered to us. So here's the thing. Jupiter tends to magnify whatever it is that he's going through. And in Gemini energy, this is going to be a focus on our mental plane, on our intellect. So we are now going to start seeing huge opportunities actually manifest for us to grow, for us to push the boundaries of our comfort zone. And especially where intellectual properties are concerned. So if you're a writer, if you're a communicator, if there is, you know, some sort of medium that you're using to put information out in the world, you're definitely going to be rewarded through those particular practices. We are taking the wisdom from Jupiter and we're taking the intellect, what we know from Gemini, and now we're blending them together. So intelligence and knowledge are the name of the game. We are also very focused on solving problems, communicating our way through said problems. And with this particular interaction lasting for the next year, especially with some of the other planets doing their thing, specifically Saturn in Pisces energy, trying to close out a 30 year cycle and really collapse the delusional set of false belief systems that we got going on here. We're going to be in for a very interesting time over this next year cycle. We want to explore our mental plane. We want to really put ourselves in new situations curiosity peaks in Gemini energy and because Jupiter is here to expand on whatever it is that we already believe in uh, what it is that we already think what it is that we think we already know we're definitely going to be challenged to accept new information and therefore reframe what it is that we thought we knew again Disclosure is definitely a major topic, major theme that is going to come up over the course of this particular transit. Now, the good thing is, is that we are a little bit more open minded than normal because of this Gemini energy. We want to see both sides of the coin. We want to explore all different perspectives. And because Jupiter is very beneficial, very much good luck, again, we're going to find a lot of very powerful rewards if we're doing all of the right things and aligning with this particular energy. It's going to put us out into the world more. It's going to make us a little bit more social, a little bit more curious, a little bit more open to collaborate. It also puts us a little bit in a more friendlier disposition because, again, we are almost tapping into that childlike curiosity and it's a very wonderful thing when you can you know really step out of being fixated on a certain belief system or fixated on what you think you know and just open up that mind with a very I'm gonna call it uh, soft naivety 
and definitely just open the mind to see what could be possible when you abandon the rigidity, the structure that many of us have been operating under. So of course, there are pros and cons, and the cons I would say is that we're a little bit gossipy, uh, we're a little bit in the shallow end, if you will. We're rushing things a little bit. We're scattered in our interest and in our intellect. We could definitely be a little bit, I'm going to say, too anxious, too much anticipating this forward motion. And therefore, we take a little bit of information. We think that's it. We implement that. We integrate that. We take action upon it only to find out, guess what? We weren't as well informed as we needed to be. So especially where communication is being focused on you know with this Gemini energy we're going to have information overload and a lot of this again I know I already said disclosure but a lot of this is to put the collective in a situation to now have to use discernment now that word discernment has been a touchy subject especially since the great shift of 2020 and right now we're going to see a lot of people lose their effing minds or continue to, should I say, because of the new information coming in, challenging their thoughts, challenging what they thought they knew, really pushing them to not know what is true. And again, this is why we've been cultivating our superpowers here, relying on our intuition, because a lot of the information that's going to come at us, we're going to need to use intellect and intuition in order to navigate our own personal truth. And so, again, with the Gemini energy, there's two sides. There is a push and pull. There is a, an extreme duality and polarization with the information and the stance that we are going to be put in positions to actually unpack and then relearn. And because of that, many of us are going to be on the fence. We're going to be stuck in a state of paralysis of indecision. And, of course, that never feels good. Jupiter, though super positive, super optimistic, and wants to focus on the greater, grander picture, the big picture, if you will, while Gemini energy likes to focus on the smaller details that make up the big picture. Again, huge contrast. There is this certain energy that we are going to dive into to understand that there is this, I'm going to say, division between hopes, wishes, and dreams, Jupiter, and matter of facts, evidence, and proof, Gemini. And we are going to have to find inside of our own damn selves that happy medium because you can't believe in something and know something to be true. The only way that belief can even exist is in the absence of actually knowing. That's where faith comes in. And we are definitely reframing and restructuring what it is that we actually believe in. So, of course, you know, Jupiter is here for a good time. Gemini energy is here to, I'm going to say, find the best way to have a good time. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, a lot of push and pull in order for us to find that sweet spot. We're definitely more focused on intellectual conversations, on intellectual context of what it is that we're looking to explore. Again, in the bigger, greater, grander cycle of Jupiter, we are now taking a lot of the initial seeds that got planted within us over the last two years that we want to build and grow towards. And now we're looking to kind of gather as much information as possible in order to be as well informed as possible for us to make these said decisions, expanding on these particular ideas. And so options are going to be plentiful but that's also a downside because when you have too many options on the table you get overwhelmed and therefore may not be picking the best option available to you and so again it's very important that we do the process of elimination to make sure down to the gemini energy where we're only looking at two that we keep whittling away our options to just find the two that makes the most sense that feels the best that has the greatest calling Overall, this is going to be a, I'm going to say positive shift for really getting our minds in check for the mental dexterity that we should be having at this point. Um, we really need to be in power, in control over our mental plane, over our thoughts, over our ideas, over our focus. And this is going to definitely be a challenge and yet a rewarding 
period of time as well, as long as we're doing the right things and we're staying in alignment with the energies. So we're in a situation of learning. We're in a situation of challenging what it is that we've already learned. And we're also being put in a situation to integrate our faith, our belief system, our wants, our needs, our desires, the profound vision, goal, and dream that we want to be moving towards with the actual proof, logic, practicality, and evidence that is going to get us there. So again, intuition with intellect. This particular, I'm going to say year ahead is really going to challenge a lot of people, especially if you haven't been doing the work. If you have been doing the work, you're probably going to see a lot of beautiful breakthroughs, a lot of beautiful options and opportunities to reward you for the work in which you've been doing. And again, especially where communication, information, collaboration is concerned. There's definitely going to be some challenging aspects, especially when we start kind of interacting with some of the other planets in their own particular life lesson situations here. Uh, specifically, we kind of, you know, we, we make this alignment, if you will, with Pluto right out of the gate. We have multiple alignments with Saturn, who, of course, is Mr. Karma. We have a lot of things over this next year that's really going to help us I'm going to say refine the life lesson that Jupiter in Gemini is here to teach us. So, of course, it's going to be very harsh on the mental plane. We're turning the volume all the way up on that headspace. So we're going to have to get a grip. We're going to have to keep ourselves in check. We're going to have to constantly be doing the cha-cha-cha in between what it is that we think we know and that we need to actually know in order to make an informed decision. Constantly challenging what it is that we've been rooted in to see whether or not we can expand our thoughts, our ideas, our belief system into something greater. So it is definitely going to be a very interesting time. Take a look at your chart, see where this Gemini energy is ruling over your chart. This is definitely going to be the area of life that is going to see the greatest growth, the greatest expansion, and yet the greatest challenge and reward. <laughs>